Cats Does Countdown. John Richardson, John Locke, James Corden, Kevin Bridges, Peter Serafinowicz, Susie Dent, and Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. Welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers and conundrums. Did you know, for example, some words only exist in plural form? For example, binoculars, scissors, trousers, jeans, pants and Jedwood. <laughs> Singlish is the nickname for the variety of English spoken in Singapore. Singlish is also my response if my girlfriend's away and an attractive woman asks me, are you single? Singlish. <laughs> A professor at the University of Houston said it would take 31,688 years to count to one trillion. So to do it, you'd need to love maths and be over 31,000 years old. Sounds like a job for Vorderman. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's John Richardson. <laughs> John phones his mum every single day. Keep on trying, John. One of these days, she's bound to pick up. <laughs> you know when you have people around for dinner, is this how you introduce them? <laughs> joining me tonight is my friend Steve, who's got a small dick. <laughs> and joining John tonight, it's Kevin Bridges. <laughs> Kevin has recently bought a riverboat in Glasgow, or as we call it in England, a shopping trolley. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and against them this evening, it's Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean's face will be familiar to you if you're a regular viewer of 8 out of 10 cats, or if you work at the RSPCA Complaints Division. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean's teammate, it's James Gordon. <laughs> It says on James's Wikipedia page that he's a rubbish actor and he's never won a BAFTA. And that's because professional jealousy got the better of me and I changed it. <laughs> uh, James, you played with John last week. Are you intimidated playing against him? I am a bit. He, uh, he shocked me with his tactical new... And... Uh, <laughs> he, um, his tactical yeah. what, sorry? His tactical new... <laughs> <laughs> but... Sean's team won last week, mm. so... Gonna lose this week. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you gonna play it differently, do you think? Because last week I noticed on one of the games you didn't play at all because you forgot to. <laughs> I hope that this week I can commit something to paper that's <laughs> that's an actual word. <laughs> Have you got a mascot with you this week? I do. Uh, I've brought this guy. There he is. And uh, oh. he's gonna bring me a lot of luck, I think. What, <laughs> what is that? He's a sponge. The sponge. So, it's great. <laughs> that's, that's... Especially, especially for the bath time gag of I've got crabs. <laughs> Not always a joke. <laughs> sure. Last week you beat uh, you beat John with a conundrum with one second to go. I mean, in terms of tension, that was it was incredible. Yeah, it was incredible, and it was an incredible feeling to to be there at that time. And <laughs> uh, what was going through my mind as the the clock was ticking down towards the conundrum was, wow, this is a really big moment, Sean. <laughs> and all I did was I just looked at all the letters and tried to make the word that was there <laughs> come to life for me to see it, to say it. And that's, that's really what happened, Jimmy. <laughs> Have you got a mascot this evening? Yes, I do, Jimmy. What you got? I have got my very lucky panda's ear. <laughs> And it's the only part of a panda that you can't eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought, the, the panda's here, might get a laugh. Might not get a big laugh. <laughs> you really surprised me with nothing, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just put it away. You can ask me the question again. <laughs> Have you got a mascot? No. <laughs> uh, Kevin, you were on John's team last time. Do you, yes. Do you think you make a good team? I think the record speaks for itself. John has never lost when I've been in this team. We have played one and won one. <laughs> See, John done a great thing. 
It's just experience shines through from the man. He writes it at the 75 times table. So for the numbers game. Um, I think that's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. I it's guess definitely cheating. You didn't cheating. think it was cheating last week, Captain, look at my 75 times table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's cheating now. <laughs> Jimmy, seriously, Jimmy, you're not allowed to have the 75 times table printed down. They don't do that on Countdown, do they? Are they allowed to do that? Well, that's the tips I've been giving the guys when they come on, just to write it down. Oh, really this cool. is like professional wrestling. This is... <laughs> this is bullshit. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I'll do? I'll leave the times table there, but if a 75 comes out, I won't use it. <laughs> Tell you what, give it to me, give it to me, uh, and if 75 comes up, I'll give it to you. Uh. <laughs> no, I don't, trust, I don't trust you to even know a round is happening, given last week. <laughs> OK. Uh, Kevin, apparently you're learning Spanish. Si. Un, un, uh, yeah, I say that if not... <laughs> wow, are you really that mean? <laughs> wow. That means, uh, yes. Jimmy, can you, can you give, us, give us a couple of phrases? No, uh, no sé por qué, pero me gusta. That's, uh, that well, you've really I... nailed the accent, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it means I don't know why. I like it. I actually <laughs> learn Spanish in a, a fetish club. <laughs> I like to get gaffer taped to a bed and Rosetta Stone discs put in my ears. Have you got a, have you got a mascot? Yes, I've got a mascot. I always forget I've, I've got a this. It's a, a bookies pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was uh, a bit too early for my train this morning and I really needed the toilet. But it's quite expensive to use the toilet in a train station. It's 30 pence. And I had a 50 pence coin and there was a bookies there. So I went to the bookies to ask if I could use the toilet. And they said it's for customers only. So. I was going to say to the guy, oh, I bet you I'm going to piss my pants, mate. <laughs> but I put, <laughs> put 50p on a horse and it won. This was the pen that wrote the name of the horse on, so I'm hoping it can... I don't need your countdown pens. I've got my own stationery. So there we go. <laughs> I've got a shuttlecock that I found backstage. So you never know when a game of badminton's going to break out. <laughs> OK, uh, John, uh, what's the ideal quality you look for in a teammate? Uh, black polo shirt, uh, Glaswegian accent, Bucky's pen and a shuttlecock. <laughs> Have you got a mascot this evening, John? Yes, I'm launching my new, uh, character to get children into numbers. This is a brand new idea I've had. This is my new character. <laughs> this is Count Down. <laughs> He's here to help children learn how to count. Wait, sorry, are you talking or him now? Because he's, <laughs> he's just mouthing weirdly. He's just... He's, you've got a problem with his jaw, haven't you? <laughs> Is he really good with numbers? Countdown. You'll have to ask Countdown, won't hey, you? Hey, Countdown. <laughs> yes? What's... <laughs> what's 15 times 75? <laughs> too, too late. 1125. It's not a race. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Countdown. Hello. Oh, he doesn't like you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm just amazed at your manual dexterity there. You can move it entirely out of sync with what you say. <laughs> it can't be easy. Fuck <laughs> all! <laughs> it's just our teams. <laughs> Over in Dictionary Corner, it's Peter Serafinowicz. <laughs> A poll recently voted Peter Serafinowicz Britain's funniest comedian, and that poll was his nan, Mrs Serafinowicz. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, are you a fan of word games? Well, to be honest, Jimmy, I don't think that's any of your business. <laughs> <laughs> well, apologies, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I crossed the line there, I... Sorry. Um, okay. Any words you're hoping will come up tonight? Abdicates. <laughs> <laughs> and with Peter... <laughs> and with Peter is, of course, Susie Dent. <laughs> Susie, is there a word you'd like to take out of the dictionary? Yeah, where do I start? Um, phlegm, crotch, moist, gusset. Phlegm, crotch, moist, gusset. Hang on. <laughs> They're all 
good, aren't they? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Take them out. I want nothing to text no one. <laughs> the numbers, it's Rachel Riley. <laughs> Rachel obtained A-levels in maths and further maths. The one kid that did that in my school was a victim of bullying and further bullying. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, have you got any uh, tricks of the trade for the numbers game? There are loads, actually. I go into schools and play games with kids and teach them. My favourite one is if you add up the digits of any number and then that number's divisible by nine, then the first number's divisible by nine. That's a good one. Oh, hang one. on, you've got to say that slowly. <laughs> Go on, if you... We add up the digits of any number. Right. And then you get that number. If that number is divisible by nine, then the first number is. Oh, I shouldn't have come back, should I? I shouldn't <laughs> have come back. <laughs> the game hasn't even started. The game hasn't started and I'm out of my depth. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the prize the teams are competing for this evening is this. It's the countdown talking alarm clock. <laughs> Demonstrate you could wake up to this. Wake up, countdown fans. You've survived another night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go down, everyone. Time for the first game. Uh, Sean and James, you get the first pick of the letters. Okay, okay. okay. Let's get this out. <laughs> what? So, what's that? Oh. Uh, I find that the the music, the countdown music, I find it very difficult to concentrate to. It actually puts me off. And I thought, I've got music at home, which is exactly 30 seconds long, which I find very easy to concentrate to. So if you don't mind, I'd like to listen to well, that. No problem at all. <laughs> while we... That's well within the rules. Yeah. OK, do you want to pick the letters? Do you want to pick the letters, James? Um, yeah, I might as well contribute something to the team, so... <laughs> uh, I'll take a... We'll take a vowel, please. Oh. I'll take another vowel, please. A. Uh, a consonant. N. A consonant. Z. A vowel. U. A consonant. H. A vowel. O. And zoo. <laughs> um, uh, a consonant. G. And a, another consonant. And the last one, T. And for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Couple of questions. That's a piece of music you just happen to have at home. <laughs> that's what, when I'm working, that's what I listen to. So you just work in 30 second bursts. Wait, five, you don't. Know, you... <laughs> Your mind just really just closes in and focuses what it's going to do. This bit, I always find I write some of my best stuff. It's going up now. <laughs> Floods out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he doesn't put anyone off. <laughs> <We're not gonna. laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> how, many, uh, how many letters? Seven. Seven, OK, James? Uh, I got four. <laughs> four. OK, uh, John? Six. Kevin? Hey, I got a six and I realised um, there was a letter missing, so I just changed it to a wrestler and I went for five. <laughs> Hulkamania is running wild this evening, Jimmy. I've got Hogan. <laughs> You've got Hogan? All right, so is Hogan, is Hogan a word? Yeah, it, it, the definition is when it comes crashing down and it hops inside. <laughs> Hogan's in the dictionary. Uh, it's a traditional Indian hut of logs and earth. Obviously, I was joking with the wrestling stuff. <laughs> OK, James. <laughs> Tons. Tons. With a Z. <laughs> <laughs> Tons with a Z. Well, we'll just double-check. I don't think so. Oh, this dictionary's Sorry. got it in for me big time. <laughs> uh, no. John, you're six. 
is actually my friend's favourite word because he's he's count down and if you count down uh, to the very end, you get to Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nought. 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 As in fuck all. <laughs> Sean, you're seven. I had nought, but I went I went all out for for Zoon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the end of a, a tropical storm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you Absolutely just get a mist. Right. You get a mist. Across the and it's a thazin. Yeah, and in particular, okay. it tends to dwell under the fronds, the fronds of palm of trees palm <laughs> on, the, on the island shores. You get a thazoon. You get a thazoon. It's like a sort of uh, a warm mist. Yes. A thazoon. In the Federated yeah. States of Micronesia. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful thazoon this morning. <laughs> so, I think we win that one, Jimmy. Yeah. Let's move on. OK. <laughs> Called the Fazunga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> G in the air. Don't, that's not. <laughs> Fazunga, you guys have to dance. It's, it's, it's funny, uh, but it's, it's not a, a word. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> okay. Susie, what, what could they have got? I had New Girl for six. I got a nine. There's a nine letter word there. Nine letter okay. word. Abdicates. <laughs> 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 OK, so the end of that, John has six points. <laughs> On to our first numbers round. Uh, John and Kevin, your turn to pick the numbers. One and five. One from the top, five from the bottom, please. W one from the top, five from the bottom, calming up. You look so right with a bookie's pen in your hand. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm studying the form here. <laughs> <laughs> one. Ooh. Three. That's four three, times three is nine. Five, Get some sums written down, I've got four. Three times <laughs> five is fifteen. Seven. Five times seven is thirty-five. And seven. your favourite second. Yes! <laughs> and the target's 769. And your time starts now. James, what have you got? I've come in with a very solid 525. 525. <laughs> 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 five. Well, let's see if anyone got any closer than that, Sean. 766. Seven, seven, six, six. 766, six, okay. John? John? Well, I'm a man of my word and I pledge not to use the 75, so I've got 201. <laughs> uh. Okay, Kevin, what have you got? I get 770, Jimmy. 770, sure. okay. Let's... How did you do it, Kevin? <laughs> um, 7 plus 3 is 10. 7 plus 3 is 10. That is inarguable. That's, yeah. safe. That's in the bank. <laughs> always has been, always will be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, times 75. Ah, times 75. 750. 750. 3 plus 1 is 4. And the other 3 plus 1 4. And then I've done something else, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, times 5 again? Yeah, 770, one away, well done. That's 7 points to you, Kevin. Oh, Rachel, could they have done it? Yep. Um, if you start the same way, 7 plus 3 is 10. And then 5 <laughs> minus the other 3 is 2. Add the 75, 77, times them together, 770, and take away the 1. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. OK, the scores at the moment are Sean and James have no points, John and Kevin have 13. And here is your teaser. The words are lock buns, and the clue is rub it all over. That's <laughs> lock buns. Rub it all over. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back 
correct. The answer to the teaser, the words were lock buns, and the clue was rub it all over. It was, of course, sunblock. <laughs> OK, for this round only, it's Sean against Kevin. Kevin, your turn to choose. Vowel, please. E. Uh, we'll take uh, another consonant, please. <laughs> Mind games. <laughs> I'll take, I'm done with that. ER, I'm going for. <laughs> Sean can pick. I'll let, you, I'll let you pick one, Sean. Ooh, it's tough, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> vowel, please. Rachel. I. Uh, consonant, please, Rachel. L. A vowel, please. O. These are good letters. Um, a consonant. R. Um, a consonant. Just the rest in consonants. X. You sure? K. I'll put a vowel on there. <laughs> <laughs> and another E. OK, your time starts now. Out. 30 seconds is a long time, isn't it? It's just it's tougher than it looks, is all I'd say. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> okay, uh, Kevin, how many did you get? Seven. Jimmy. Okay, Sean. I've got a terrific four. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's hear your four. Uh, law. L O R E. <laughs> L O R E. Law. Okay, Kevin, what have you got? X liker. <laughs> Somebody who used to like you. I think if it was in, it would be hyphenated, but I don't think it's in. Sorry, Kevin. Four points to Sean there. Peter, could they have done any better? Well, we think we may have a nine. Uh, can we... Can we... <laughs> choose, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Abdicate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, Sean and James have four points. John and Kevin have 13. <laughs> right, now time for John and James to go head-to-head. -head. Oh, for... <laughs> James, your turn to pick the numbers. Uh, I would like two the, from the, top, two, the from two from the top. <laughs> These two? Yeah. And, and the one on the bottom corner closest to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the one two along from it. This one? That's right. The one above that. <laughs> How many more have I got? One more. Go to the second row. Yeah. Fourth one in. Big time. Second row, fourth one in. Fourth yes. one in. Next yes. one. Yes. That's it. Yeah, now on. we've got it. <laughs> Your specially selected numbers are yeah. eight, no, four, three, another eight, and the large one's 25 and 75. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your target, 587. OK, so John versus James. Your time starts now. 587? Shit. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I get freaked out by this now. I can't... Can we have your music on? 875. Right. 800. Yeah. OK, that's one of your eight. You've just got to take off so 13. Now we... So how do you get 13? We might get 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Take that off. Take that. 8 plus 4 is 8 off. 600. 12 of 12 of 600. Ah, I can't even write. 80. That's as well you get 588. So the target was 587. John, what? did you get it? I think I've got 588. James? Yeah, 588. OK, let's hear how you did it, John. No, well, I'll tell you what, much more fun. James. 
did you do? Uh, I did uh, 8 times 75, which... 8 times 75 is 600. 600. Uh, and then 8 plus 4. The other 8 plus 4 is 12. And then take that off the 600. Yep. 588. Five, eight, eight. One away. That's it. Yeah. Well, no, I did it. You did it. Well... You did it all yourself. <laughs> lovely picture earlier. That was a lovely picture of the boat. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate you that. You did buddy. that all on your own. Thanks, mate. <laughs> and you do your shoes up now. It's great. <laughs> uh, John, how did you do it? Well, obviously, we're not allowed to use the 75. Uh, what I did is 3 times 25 is 75. <laughs> <laughs> You say, <laughs> and then I just did it like they did it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what seven points each? <laughs> Rachel, could it be done? Um, yes, you could have uh, got to this stage and then said twenty-five minus twelve is thirteen, and taken that off instead. Okay, the scores at the moment, Sean and James are on 11, John and Kevin are on 20. Here is your teaser. The words are gimp tent and the clue is hard to resist. That's gimp tent, <laughs> hard to resist. See you after the break. Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were gimp tent and the clue was hard to resist. It was, of course, tempting. <laughs> OK, before we move on, please welcome Joe Wilkinson. No! 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 no. This, is... this is bullshit. <laughs> you all right, Joe? No, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it, you heard. What? It's been fired. <laughs> I know, it's bullshit, love. I'm as angry as you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brilliant at this shit. <laughs> I'm brilliant at the numbers and the... the uh, what's the other...? What's the, the other... letters? <laughs> letters, letters! <laughs> Susie and Rachel have put in a complaint, apparently. Said I was distracted. It's not my fault I've got a cracking body! <laughs> And there's a rumour going around being stealing from the set, which is bullshit, which is total... All right, I've stolen a couple of things, but it's not worth firing me. I still don't understand why you're wearing cricket pads. That's what I wear when I'm not working. <laughs> Very fashionable. Do you not re-smash it? <laughs> <laughs> this is the last day. I've done the, uh, you know, I've done the traditional thing, and I've, I photocopied my ass. <laughs> <laughs> if you look closely, you can see I've, I've got, a I've actually got a couple of tattoos on my cheeks. <laughs> on the left one, I've got uh, a tattoo of Rachel ordering a lasagna. <laughs> One, I've got Susie shouting her two favourite nine-letter words, which are gumshield and bollocks. <laughs> she spells bollocks with two S's. What a weird woman. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just do it then, shall we? Let's get on with it. <laughs> Last day, fuck it. <laughs> Let's play! Countdown! <laughs> OK, uh, on with the game. Sean and James, your turn to choose the letters. OK. Um, Terry? A vowel, please. You have to do it yourself. I've got empty the desk. <laughs> oh. You can check in here. <laughs> a. Uh, then, uh, another vowel, please. O. Uh, another vowel. <laughs> I. Another vowel. E. <laughs> Consonant, please. <laughs> N. Consonant, please. G. Consonant, please. It's weird what you accumulate. A. Consonant, please. F. And another consonant, please. 
can the last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your time starts now. strong and powerful woman. <laughs> I'm a strong and powerful woman. <laughs> Sean, how many letters? Eight. James? Six. Oh, for James. <laughs> Sean. Eight. Kevin? Seven. OK, uh, James, what was your six? Uh, Signet. Good, cool. Yeah, good for six. Signet. <laughs> uh, Kevin, what was your seven? Uh, fasting. As in, like, run fast, you're fasting. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good when you expand on it, but OK. <laughs> John, you're right. Uh, feasting. Yeah. Feasting? Oh, really good. that's what I got as well. Excellent. Um, I've got O feasting. That's <laughs> uh, Irish for feasting. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jimmy, I'm just going to pop these in my van. <laughs> OK, eight points to both teams. Susie, could they have done any better? I've got a nine. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's a word, but I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Abdicates. <laughs> Abdicates. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nine letters. Yeah. Any, anything else, Susie? Uh, if you're not abdicating, you can do tango in. So tangos is there for seven. OK. So at the end of... <laughs> what, what are you drinking there? Water. Lovely <laughs> <laughs> can of new water. water. You've not seen the new water brand. It's just water. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's from a canal. So <laughs> You're just rehydrating, are you? I wouldn't normally with water, but it's so watery, I'd say cheers. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, uh, Sean and James have 19, uh, John and Kevin have 28. <laughs> uh, on to another numbers round. OK, uh, John and Kevin, you're to pick the numbers. Um, anything but 75, really. <laughs> uh, I can't be asked to help. <laughs> uh, it's my last day, so I've um, bought in a board game like you do at school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, I've bought in the, the new Countdown board game. <laughs> it's, it looks a little bit like Mousetrap. Yeah, it does look a bit uh, like Mousetrap, but it is different because our mouse is holding a little calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then, calculators aren't actually allowed on Countdown. Now it's just mousetrap. It's just trap now. <laughs> <laughs> OK. John. One big. One big. One big and five small. OK. Right, and these numbers are five, ten, two, seven, another two and fifty. And the target, 491. OK, your time starts now. OK, so your target was 491. Uh, what did you get? Sean? Uh, 491. Uh, James? I, th I, th I think 491. OK, John? <laughs> I can also think 491. Kevin? Um, I think 491. A lot of confusion. OK, James, how did you do it? 5 times 10. 5 times 10. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. 
<laughs> OK. He did a so, lovely painting, eh? No. <laughs> and there was seagulls. <laughs> OK, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no. What, was it 50 times 10? What did you that's do? That's what I meant. No, that's what you meant. Fine, what you meant, okay. yeah. Yeah, 50 yeah. times 10 is yeah. 500, minus 7, minus 2. Yeah, lovely, well done. Oh, no, no. Uh, did you do it the same way, yeah? I was trying to go for a, what, a trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> 5 plus 2 is 7, times 7 is 49, times 10 is 490, and I just don't know how to get that 1. <laughs> Can 50 divide by itself, maybe? If you cut the zero in half, stretch it out, bend it, you've got a 1. <laughs> <laughs> is it a trick shot, Rachel? What, another way of doing it? I saw me like, really, whoa. How did she get that? <laughs> you, could have, you could have done 50 Whoa, times how did five. she get that? That's how I feel when I see it, it with Joe Wilkinson over there. <laughs> She's landed on her feet, mate. <laughs> you could have done that one. If you want to use all the numbers. Well, mate. that's the one I had. That's how I got it. <laughs> OK. So uh, I got John, Sean? The same, really. 10 times 50 is 500. Yep. 2 times 5 is 10 minus 2. Is 8. Yeah, got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and John, did you get it? We did it the same way, Jimmy. Did you? I want to hear it from him. I can't remember what voice he has. <laughs> <laughs> we did it the same way. <laughs> he does sound different. Does he? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> this ventriloquism. <laughs> <laughs> OK, ten points to both teams there. Well <laughs> the scores at the moment, Sean and James have 29, John and Kevin have 38. <laughs> Time now to go across to Dictionary Corner. Uh, Peter, what have you got for us? Well, uh, when I agreed to be on the show, they said I could uh, read something, read something from a book, you know, as long as it had some kind of literary merit, you know, it's a show about words and everything. So, um, I thought I'd read an extract from the Morrissey autobiography, just because <laughs> I'm a fan and, you know, it's just really, it's really interesting and it's extremely well written. So, um, here's my take on the Morrissey autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> I think the genius of the show was <laughs> that it did exactly what it said on the tin. <laughs> men behaving badly. It was about two men whose behaviour was, well, let's just say it left a lot to be desired. <laughs> I remember those days very fondly. It was really good fun. In fact, it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the sofa, Watching porn on the telly, having a couple of beers, talking about wanking, trying to cop off with Leslie Ash. <laughs> and then the car would pick us up to take us to the studio and we'd have to film the show. <laughs> I don't really keep in touch with Cloomsy anymore, but he's off being all successful and everything. He was brilliant in gravity. <laughs> he looks very handsome in his days. <laughs> I think he might have had his ears done. <laughs> Good on you, Cloomsy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pretty sound everyone. And here is your final teaser. The words are Kev Droop. <laughs> and the clue is poke a stick at it and see what happens. <laughs> That's Kev Droop. Poke a stick at it, see what happens. See you after the break. The answer to the teaser, the words were Kev Droop, and the clue was poke a stick at it and see what happens. It was, of course, provoked. <laughs> OK, time for our final letters game. John and Kevin, your turn to choose. <laughs> His countdown's all right. He's very tired now. <laughs> it's very late for him. <laughs> Shall we count down to bedtime? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okie dokie. <laughs> 
makes your hands sweaty. <laughs> you do this, mate. I trust you implicitly. Me. Uh, consonant, then? R. Vowel. <laughs> U. And now consonant. D. means Kevin you've won this week's mystery prize <laughs> this week's mystery prize is a crystal ball reading <laughs> <laughs> right Smoke in here, mate. <laughs> oh, it's coming through, Kevin. Yep, it's getting clearer. <laughs> it says you've left your hallway light on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't be any more help. Let's play card <laughs> Um, We'll have another vowel, please. <laughs> and a consonant, please. N. And another vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. S. And another consonant, please. V. And a vowel, please. And the last one. A. OK, your time starts now. Six. James? Five. John? Maybe a seven. Ooh, Kevin. Um, it's complicated to say at this point. <laughs> I don't want to rush you, I don't want to... Could you got... put a number on it, do you think? No, well, I got Venus, and then I spent the rest of the time trying to find Serena. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be quite good to get Venus and Serena. <laughs> and I got, so I just went for Suave. <laughs> James, you're five? Uh, drove. Drove. Okay, Sean, you're six. Droves. Oh. Useless. <laughs> okay, uh, John, you're seven. I don't know if I spelt this right. Asunder. Yeah. Well, yeah. How did you spell it? <laughs> However, you thought I spelt it. Well. <laughs> yeah. A S U N D E R. Brilliant. Very good. There to John. Peter, Susie, could they have done any better? Uh, well, we, we got a couple of sevens, resound, uh, devours, sounder, and an eight, abdicate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, no, 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 abdicates. Abdicates, <laughs> nine. <laughs> abdicates. OK, so Sean and James have 29, John and Kevin have 45. Fingers on buzzers, it's time for today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> James? Subjugate. Well, no one was expecting that. <laughs> Look at his little face, he's thrilled. <laughs> no one was expecting With the numbers, Jimmy, but when it comes to subjugate. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So the final scores are Sean and James have a very creditable 39, but tonight's winners with 45 are John and Kevin. Yeah. Congratulations, you're now the proud owners of this countdown alarm clock. Thanks to all our panelists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. <laughs>